My name is Weedy Hannibal and I work for Butte County in their communications department. I'm the telecommunications manager for the county. We manage all of the radio, telephones, cell phones, everything having to do with communications. When we initially looked at the project, our standard would have been a buried mat foundation under the tower. Uh, we're out here at the Bloomer Hills uh, communication tower and uh, this tower is a three-legged space frame. It's 140 feet high. Uh, we did the geotechnical engineering for the foundations for the project and the construction management. Uh, originally, we had designed the foundations to be of a conventional mat foundation or uh, cast and drill hole um, found pier foundations. When the uh, bids came in from the uh, contractors to build those two types of foundations, the costs were exceedingly high. The county communications department asked us to see if there's some other way we can design foundations for this. So we came up with a uh, micropile that, that definitely could have the capacity and here would be the, the bond area and here's our collar, here's ground elevation. We knew we could have the capacity for both uplift and compressional forces. The challenge was how we could get a series of micropiles constructed so that we could fit the ring foundation for the tower. And the tower leg has obviously bolt holes all the way around it. And <clears throat> the micropile, we had to come up with a design that could take uh, shear, uplift, and, and compression. And uh, so what I decided to do was come up with a series of three micropiles that would couple to the Tower Lake Foundation. So we came up with a, a steel plate with these micropiles. And then within those micropiles, we would design it so that the ring foundation, the ring for the, <clears throat> the tower assembly would fit inside of that. What that was allowed us to do was to eventually save the county $300,000 in construction costs, including both the materials, the concrete, and the uh, labor to put up the forms and the steel into the mat foundations. Uh, the actual cost of doing the micropiles was about $95,000. Now, the um, project was started uh, in a, with an anticipated two-year schedule, and by virtue of going to the micropile design, we were able to, to reduce that to a one-year construction project. Be willing to look at alternatives that would work for your particular project that may not be part of what's normally done, what's accepted practice because that's what we had to do. And the um, contractor even questioned us right down to the actual doing of the micropiles. He kept saying, are you sure you want to do it? And this is a very experienced general contractor who has done many of these towers and they always do buried mat. When they saw this design, it concerned him. At the end of the construction project, he said, I would have some upgrades on how this would be better done. So he now saw the value of doing this instead of a buried mat, and he was thrilled at the end of the project.